Hi, this is Stefan Page, and today I want to talk about how do I prepare for a big push, a big advancement uh, into my business. Uh, and that can have, apply in any area of your life. But you have all heard about visualization, affirmation, visualization, call it the way you want, but it is a scientific proven way to actually achieve what you want in life. Now that doesn't mean that visualization by itself is going to manifest all the things you're thinking about or dreaming about, but it actually is the beginning. It's the start. It's the first thing you should be doing. And so whenever I have a goal in my life that is very, very meaningful because the, the key you're going to find is that sometimes you set a goal, but it's not something you really desire strongly. And so you have to force yourself to think about that goal all the time. But it, when you have something that really gets to your heart, that you really, really want, you don't have to force yourself. You just dream about it all the time. I'm gonna give you an example. When I was a teenager, I was 16 years old, my dream car at the time, believe it or not, it was a Honda Civic white interior blue with manual transmission. That was my dream at that time. I wanted that car. Well, I was driving at the time a Buick Regal 19, 1979. That was the car from my grandfather who then my parents had, and then it was my car. All right, so you can imagine a Honda Civic for me at that time was meaning a lot. And um, I dreamed about that car. Like every night I would get in my bed and I would see myself driving the car. I still can feel the feeling I had at that time with the music playing in the speakers while I was driving and taking that curve around the lake here. I still remember that because I visualized it so many times and I could feel how it felt to listen to that music, that song, taking the curve and just the energy that I felt. So. Athletes do that, like many people in many areas do that. So that's something I found to be very helpful in my business. Sometimes you set a goal, but you don't think about your goal except once a year uh, or you review your goal once in a while. But when you set a goal that you truly want, and that's the key, is to truly want that thing. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna think about it without even wanting to, t to think about it okay it's gonna happen you're gonna always be thinking about this thing and so the thing you need to do is set like put yourself in that feeling environment right in that state where you're thinking about it and you're living it how does that make you feel as you're living it get the feeling get those feelings in very important that you get those feelings. If you don't get the feelings, it's not gonna have the same impact on your life. So that's the first thing I do whenever I have a goal. I don't know if you can hear the, the bottles there. I just uh, went filling up my uh, water bottles at the mountain. That's, uh, that's something, a ritual I try to do every two days. Um, just having clean drinking water. So um, basically that's what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're filling yourself with that energy that feeling because feeling will bring up to some point you could actually even have tears to your eyes as you're so excited about that feeling about that event about that goal happening living it and i i remember um walt disney's wife many many years ago she was um she had been interviewed after his her um her husband died and um, the interviewer asked her, do you, feel, um, do you feel sorry that your husband hasn't seen the accomplishment, the realization of his big lifelong project? And she says, oh no, uh, he lived that moment many, many times. So basically, that's the state you wanna be in. All right, so whenever you set a goal, uh, the one thing you want to do is get yourself in that moment, living through that goal, and 
then start to take the actions that will help you realize this and go full throttle. Because as you start to live it through emotions, you're going to start to believe it. Okay, that's the key. Is It's very hard to believe something that's not already happened or that is happening or that you don't have the skills maybe, the connections, whatever. But if you start to visualize it, and then you start to live it, to experience what it feels like. Your body starts to believe it's happening. And after a little while, it becomes like natural. And then your, your life is not comfortable not having that thing in its life. So what does that happen? What, ha what happens then is that it creates, it manifests those things around your life. But for those things to actually happen, you have to be taking massive action towards that goal. You have to do it day in, day out. But you're going to feel something different. This time, you're going to feel it's going to happen. You're going to start to be certain that it's going to happen. Because you lived it so many times, it's almost a done deal. And because you're taking so much action, you start to believe that, gee, it's going to happen. So there you go. Hope this is helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Head over to stefanpage.com. There's lots of videos and articles and things I'm posting to help you build your business to a high level. And um, we'll see you soon.